Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we were basically going ahead with missions in the story plotline, and uh, still kind of reeling from all of that, finding Artemis is dead, and we had to put him in the simulation so he can continue to be alive in a fashion because there's not much else we can do for him it's either we keep him alive in a simulation or he dies but that seems to also be what the universe is like i'm not sure it there seems to be a lot of clues pointing that this whole universe is a simulation so it's not much different than what we're already going through i guess but anyway this was also recorded uh, right after the newest update dropped for Sentinels. Um, a lot of stuff about Sentinels, I have not gotten that far yet in to understand any of the references. But some of the things I do know is that companions has been tripled. The number of companions you can have is tripled. The number of multi-tools you, you can have is doubled. And a lot of other... Uh, sentinel classes and sentinel types and companion types for that matter are available as well as um, a whole host of other ships and multi-tools and stuff but we're going to slowly get into that and the reason we're looking at this guy was because I just got done debriefing uh, the whole expedition and uh, seems like we're going to get a decent amount of money and a decent amount of stuff. Including a Rotthorn Pollen Flora thing. Whatever that is. And then we get all of these. Which is, you know, a lot of good stuff. Oily cuttings. That wasn't even in the list. And a whole lot of extra money, too. Okay, cool. No expedition assigned. I had a feeling. Okay. So, with that in mind, I now have to move everything of this around. Ooh! Puts us right at 11 each. Cool. That's good to know. And nitrogen salt. That gets put over here. Good. We need all the nitrogen salt we can have. <laughs> Ah, uh, boy. And superconductors, too. That needs to be moved as well to uh, this tab. There we go. And um, iridescite. Yes. That. And the circuit board needs to be moved as well. Um, oh, there it is. Get it. Where does the circuit board need to be moved to, though? Do I still need it for the overseer? I don't remember. But all of these are in my inventory for some reason. But I can just sell them off right over here. There we go. Much better. Sell. Uh, this is going for decent money. Not extra, but decent money. Oops, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, there's that. There's that. And that. And we're good money obtained and how much now seven million okay all right wowzers okay we have a lot more than i thought <laughs> a lot more than i thought so we're also going to go to my ship and then find the monolith to locate a portal for Apollo. Alright. Now that we've done all of that anyway. Maybe we'll pick up a few frigates on the way to this planet. Who knows? I tilted for some reason. That's weird. Oh, speak of the devil. Some new frigates are right here. At least possible purchases. I don't see why not, because they're right there. And I have money to burn. Alright. 
got a recruitable one here. What do they got? Now well, let's inspect first. Hmm. Leaky fuel tubes. But pretty good industrial ship. And eventually that will be removed, I'm sure. Which is just fine for me. Um... Where is another one? There should be at least one more. Uh, I know there was more. You can't just tell me there weren't. Oh, there we go. That's one. Get a little closer. There we go. Alright. Oh, got directed to that one for some reason. That one's... Damage reduction and industry specialist. Hmm. It is extremely cheap, so I don't see why I shouldn't do that. And then another batch of fleet, from the look of it, over here. That is a unique frigate design. Or at least a unique capital ship design. Look at this. this. This one I've never actually seen before. I can't say that I have anyway. It's rather interesting though. I don't think it's better than my current one, but it is interesting. I'll give it that. Let's go ahead and talk to this possible one here. You look like a combat model, and it looks like I'm correct. Expedition Duration and Combat Specialist. Well, you're also still cheap, so I'll go ahead with that. Good enough for me. Those were some noises I didn't expect. Alright. Well, where is my frigate is the question I have currently. Uh, I seem to have lost it because of all the other ones in the sky. Uh, there it is. Okay. Alright, and because it'll take a little while. Oops. Okay, good. Good enough for me. And we head in. Because I realize now I probably should have set out another expedition or two. Especially now that I have some new frigates for those, might as well do too. And when I do, or at least when I have the capability of doing more than two, then I will move those command centers somewhere else. But for the time being, they're going to stay there and there. For now. Yes, let's go ahead and see what we got. Ha 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 ha, whoa. That's a long one. That's a long one. And probably worth it. Uh, it's a balanced expedition as well, if I recall correctly. Yeah, focus balance. So... Hmm. Industrial... Combat. Uh, exploration. And I think that'll be good enough. Yeah, that'll be plenty good enough. All right. Looks good. Away they go. And the next expedition after that, that is maybe possible. <laughs> Uh, it's it's small fry, but, I mean, it's worth it. Oh, that would be so good, too, though, but I don't have enough science ships for that. Ah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I might be able to do this one, though. But I might be able to do this one, too. Mm, mm, Alright. Not sure how many combat ships I have left. Two combats. 
No. <laughs> Some of the ones that are left. Oh, boy. Alright, let's see. It's good enough? It's good enough. Okay. It's not outstanding, but it's good enough. Maybe I'll just tack on one of the mining vessels. Be a little extra help. There we go. Who knows? It might end up being useful. Who knows? I don't. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, let's check my fuel levels. Got some 50 tons here. That's fine. Got some chromatic metal. That's supposed to be on the starship there. And I say we're good. Yeah. I'd say we're doing good. All right. At least until we get a different capital ship, which might happen. It might. All right. And away we go again. Whoa. Look over and I notice we've dropped some frames. Sorry about that. Didn't notice. At least at first. All right. And potential ancient monolith detected. Where is that? Apparently on the planet still. So. Unsafe trajectory. Oh, uh, because I was underneath my capital ship. That's why. That makes sense. Okay. Away we go. Oh, it's on a different planet entirely. Huh. Might as well scan this. Pew. Activated copper, pyrite, and sodium. And the... It's a basalt planet. So it's going to be hot, is what you're telling me. Be hot at all times. Oh, boy. Or at least I think that's what that means. I'm not entirely sure. I could be wrong. Probably am. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Alright. Making it into the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe I was right. And it seems the place is also in the middle of a storm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. Looks like I'm correct. See, the crackling of those means there are storm crystals nearby, and the storm crystals are only available in the middle of a storm. Which means visibility is going to be absolute dookie. Yeah. There you go, then. <laughs> Not going to be as dookie as I thought. Okay, I need to look for the monolith, though, as the wind starts to clear out. That is a big old creature right there. No, I figured it would be extreme. I was correct in that it would be hot. Gets hot, hot, hot. Boy, is it hot out here. Okay. Where the hell would the monolith be? That is my question. I don't want to land just to find out it is hop, skip, and a jump away. This, this is the approximate location. Oh, come on. I mean, this is... This is the nearest landmark that looks interesting. All right. no idea <laughs> at all where it could be. And it's mildly annoying I'm not seeing it quickly. But it's understandable at least. Wait, is that... that no. That's just another rock. <laughs> Damn you base salt planets! possible to recognize ancient ruins because you're weird 
geography, for lack of a better phrase. Weird mineral shapes and shit. Whoop. What's with the music? What's with the music change? Look at that. Dealing with minor combat over here? Or are those creatures that could attack me? Those in the sky? Oh, that's something. That'd be something. Alright. Well, I'm not having any luck looking for it from the sky. So I guess I'll just land and do it on foot. Whoa. I dropped a lot of frames again. Why? Why is that going on? Okay. Well, I guess I have two things. I'm Explosive gas eruptions. Sentinels missing. Sentinels missing and extreme temperatures. Okay. Well, that's the case. Okay, that at least gives me an idea of where to go. I want to scan everything here while I have the ability to scan. I'm getting a lot of credits off of these scans. And apparently there's a hostile creature behind me. Oh, oh hi! What the hell were you? Meaty chunks. You're a buggy looking thing. Ew. I kind of don't feel bad. I killed you. <laughs> Just a little. Oh, that was mean. I <laughs> felt bad as I was saying it. <laughs> Alright. Identified mineral. Pure ferrite and carbon. That ain't too bad. What are these, anyway? Easily startled. Is that why they were giving me weird music when I was sitting near them? Highly valuable resource. Yeah, no, I know. I know how these planets do. I'm about to hit critical exposure in about, like... <laughs> 20 seconds. You're kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well... Good thing I didn't move too far away from my ship. Okay, if this is the direction, I guess I can use this as a guide. To at least point me in a direction that will get me closer. Okay. I'm going to sit down here instead. There we go. Cool. And as you can see right there, there are storm crystals. Storm crystals are extremely valuable and extremely useful to have in the back pocket in multitudes. But, uh, <laughs> at the same time, you have to risk quite a bit to be able to get them. And, uh, currently not going to do that yet. So I'm just going to wait out the storm until it's all said and done. So I guess I'll see y'all in a bit. Storm clearing. That's good. Finally. Look at that temperature drop. <laughs> it was at 610 before, and now it's dropping all the way to hopefully... Extreme oh. <laughs> 92 degrees Celsius, 234 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my gods. Okay, well, um, I'm noticing some weird texture issues. Because uh, those are far away. 
and presumably are sitting at those spots where the uh, terrain actually is, but I'm seeing them as if they're closer. That might be a texture issue with the new uh, update, but that's fine. Oh. So, it looks like it's more in this direction. Okay. So that gives me a navigation point to reference as I continue to scan things. Because why not? I get money for knowing things. With that in mind, why wouldn't I? Okay. Ferrite dust, basalt, and sodium, and among other things. That's a big old tree. With walls of flame being a thing, it's a marvel how plants are still growing. Absolutely. Just impressive. Seeing if I can scan anything else from here. Haha! Alright. I know, I know. It's kind of good at that. Okay. Some of these aren't having that issue, I noticed. Okay. Hazard protection. Let's use sodium. Sidium. Actually, now I think about it, I should collect some sodium while I'm on the planet because I will need it. Okay. Right, oh, you are new. I recognize you. Space alt, okay. Alright. I have to continue moving in this direction. Okay, kill you. Kill you. Alright. I didn't want to, but y'all forced my hand there. a lot of sodium just to be able to stay on this planet for a period of time. Whoop. Didn't actually check what that is. I just assumed it was a sodium one. Yeah, it was a basalt. Okay. I know. It's gonna keep falling because that's what it do. There we go. There's a monolith right there. Alright. I know. At least it's a little cooler. At least we got that going for it. Alright. Put the marker there. And then I'm going to pull my ship over to here. Maybe. It'll let me. Yeah, close enough. I know. You don't need to tell me. That's why I'm pulling my ship over here so I can do it for free. There. Alrighty. Man, oh man, oh man. Extreme temperatures. Now, those are for different purposes. I want to go to my exosuit and deal with these. Hmm. Uh, not that. Uh, this. There we go. Throw some oxygen in there. And we're good. Fantastic. Alright. Good enough. Now let's head over to here. Alright. Learn the Corvax word for greetings. Fair enough. And then the Corvax word for interface. Stuck on something. Then the Corvax word for metal. Interesting. Anomaly. 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 I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable, muted silver. And yet something lurks beneath. 
It is gray, and yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate a portal. Tracing to source. Locate the portal for Apollo. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Another wall of flame. Ta-da. Good for me. Oh, jeez. With that in mind, I probably should just, you know, move on to the next location. Oh, for crying out loud. It's gonna take hours. Alright, if that's the case, might as well just head up into space. It's fine. It's fine. Because we're going to go around the planet. Atmosphere. Do it that way. Because that is... Is it? Huh. It's actually not that far away. It would be decent money. I don't know if I'd say good money, but decent money. I don't see why not. Let's do it! Standard hauler from the look of it. Okay. Okay, well, it survived the initial barrage, so it's beefier than I thought. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. Got some standing with the Corvax and chromatic metal and a Herox rock. Cool. Where do we put this? Over here. Good. Alright. Now let's head over to the portal. And down we go. Entering the atmosphere. Pium. Pium. Whatever the hell I pronounce it as. It's my decision at this point. Alright. Now underneath the clouds. We head towards Le Portal. Oh! Bad. Jeez. <laughs> at least it put me backwards after I ran into the thing that popped in. Alright. Is that it, maybe? looks like it at least but I'm sure there's still a storm going on so I'll just land here yep 592 degrees storm is still going even on this side of the planet it's shocking at how long that these storms last because last time it took about like three minutes to just blow right through it. And then they enveloped the whole planet as well. How is anything able to survive? That's the baffling thing. Well, life finds a way, I guess. Oh, thank you. All right. Some of you may be wondering why I'm waiting out the storms in my ship, especially on this planet. Because if it's an extreme environment already, and the extreme storm comes in, my current defenses against extreme temperatures and whatnot will not hold. As you already noticed, it was taking about, like, three, less than three minutes to blow through most of my hazard protection in the middle of a storm that is cut in half and that's if i'm lucky yeah just look at how long i have less than three minutes less than three minutes that is cut in half in the middle of a storm i'm not risking that whoa music change memories of aquat sapo Empower the glyphs. Oh. Technology recharging. Technology 
some glyphs take certain materials to do. Ah. Oh. Oh. I see, and some of these require star metal of some kind. Star metal. Uh, stellar metal. There we go. I mean, basically same concept, really. Alright, there we go. Got that done. Oxygen there. There. And there. And these ones are the ones that require stellar metal. I just don't know how much I would need for it. Is there any nearby sources that I can just run with? I'm not sure if activated will work, though. Okay, I'm going to have to pull some out of my freighter's uh, storage. I have a lot more indium than I do anything else, so I guess we'll get stacks of that. 67 ought to do, or at least be close. Okay. Okay. Oh, it takes five of each. Okay, I overestimated. It's fine. It. Alright. And... Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. Sorry, capture loop? The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention requires me to activate it, requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Request this planet's address. I, uh... <laughs> what does that mean? I have no idea what any of that means. glyphs to Apollo at a hollow terminus. So I need to head over to a hollow terminus to get that info to him. Okay. It's about to say I'm pretty sure that is. I think it is. Good. Um, is there anything else I haven't scanned on this planet yet? I don't think there isn't. Okay, now it's daylight, which means it'll go faster. That's fine. It's whatever. Alright. Yeah, no such luck. Do a scan so I can find a hollow terminus, which is... Where? Doesn't even seem like it's on this planet. Oh, wait. It's right over there. And Wall of Flame is coming back. Fantastic. Jesus. <laughs> I get relief for maybe five minutes. Maybe ten. And then another wall of flame. Jesus. Okay. Um, as it is right now, I need to put this back in my freighter. There we go, because I got way too much extra. Um, Mordite, I can put that away too. Throw that there. Fantastic. This can go there. And we're good. I guess. Alright. Alrighty. It's time to head over to the Hollow Terminus. And it'll be a short trip. So I might as well do it now. While we have the opportunity. And at least this way I don't have to waste time fast forwarding through a storm. Whoop. Whoo. Too close. Close for comfort. 
my ass clenched. It was that close. Like, <laughs> okay, this is the approximate location. That's good. And once the storm is cleared, I'll be able to see it more clearly. Well, that is an unknown building. That might be where we're supposed to be heading. Or it's a complete red herring. Uh, looks like red herring. Unknown building was just a marker. Unfortunately. Oh well. Okay. Storm's still ongoing. As we notice, based off of that, uh, storm crystal still shining up like a Christmas tree. So, where are we? Supposed to be? Where is it? Come on. It's usually on flat ground. Which means it should be visible rather easily. Oh, that's a lot of storm crystals right there. It's a lot of them all clustered together. Alright. There is no way. There's no way you're going to force me to land again to be able to see it. Well, at least the storm's clearing. <laughs> at least there's that. Should make it easier to see. Alright. Huh. Yep. Yeah. I figured that would be the case. Alright. Well. I'm not able to see it from the sky again. But. But would you stop doing that? You're clearly not enough. Alright. The hell? That isn't good. That can't be good at all. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay, and there was another bit of solid crystal over here, I noticed, as well. Condensed carbon. Perfect. Never identified this. You're kidding. I didn't even have, like, three minutes. You're kidding. Oh, for crying out loud. All right. It was, it's over there? Really? It's over there? I'm crying out loud. All right. Oh, jeez. All right. Stream storm. Is that where the source of all the wall of flame storms are coming from? <laughs> These volcanoes? Well, that makes sense. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um... Uh... This is the direction we're looking for, and I shall continue on in this path until I see it. Or at least have a better chance of seeing it. Alright. Okay. Where could it be? It was like 600 units away, 650. Oy vey. So this is what I'm going to be dealing with all the time. Alright. Really? Oh, right there. Right there. Makes sense. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat a little bit up a little bit more than usual. So it's sitting over here. That explains it. It was sitting higher than I was expecting it to. That explains why I wasn't seeing it. There we go. Storm is still ongoing, which makes it annoying. 
Eh, screw it. I'll run into these buildings. Get a little bit of shelter here. Plus, I'll be able to loot the stuff that's in here. Like that. The nanites. Always need more nanites. As many as you can manage. You see how quickly it goes down? You see how quickly? Might as well collect some basalt while I'm here. And sodium. A lot of sodium. But yeah, basalt too. Why not? You see how quickly it's going down? You see how quickly? Look at that. I don't even get a minute. I don't even get a minute. There's some animals over here. I'm going to scan. <laughs> Real quick. If I have the opportunity to. Really? Didn't know that there were some of them that come this far down. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. Time to walk in. Okay. Learn the Corvax word for must. Interesting. No matter where you go, spinny chairs are always fun. Alright. Okay. Well, I can get rid of the marker now. Fantastic. Oh, boy. Extract nanites from the building. <laughs> How? How can I extract nanites from the building? Not even a place where I can't. Okay. At least I can scan things from the comfort of this building now. Storm crystal, unidentified plant. Oh, thank you, merciful Jeebus. Alright. Nope. Another unidentified plant that's a big old tree. Radon. Some of these give off a lot of radon. Shocking amount of radon. Thank you. You put that in a memo and entitle it shit I already know. Oh, hey, look at you. Pure ferrite and sodium. Interesting. And murder bug. Bye. Well, I do need some... <laughs> I do need some pure ferrite. It is a thing I do technically need a little bit of. There we go. Fantastic. I wonder if I can make it all the way up. <laughs> I can! That's beautiful. I love it. All right. Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. Yep, but I have already known all of this. And away it goes. Now I talk to Apollo, who is over here for some reason. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a Gek to look after my farm while I'm away. A farm? Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much, mostly fruit I've found on my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal. What happened to Artemis when they walked that same path? I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. I mean, I've come this far. I can't just not give him the glyphs. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from the so-called Null. They warn me to be careful, too. And I guess we're going to speak to Null now. And there he is. Two lost souls. One who cared too much, and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived 
has felt that way at some point. I know I did, once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals. But whatever you did, I am here now. And I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Why do you need my help? The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There. There we will find the first secret. I am sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified. It is in pain. And we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. Fair enough. And with that sort of weight on our shoulders, off we head, I guess. Visit Null's chosen observatory. Is that... Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. It's a buried technology module that isn't actually that buried. Fine by me. Give me freebie. Give me freebie without having to dig much. I'll take it. Oh, I got two out of that. Not as many as I would hope, but it's something. Alright. And the module is... Well, not the module, the... Observatory is not that far away. And I also noticed there is sodium nitrite crystals nearby, and I don't want to miss out on that. Even if I have to use some to get over there. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Doing weather warnings and these things. Jesus. Alright. Getting back is going to be a pain, but screw it. I don't care. I want the sodium nitrate crystals. I always will need more. Always more. Journey milestone. Undaunted. Oh! I see. Surviving on extreme worlds, actually. That makes sense. Even especially through storms like this. Really, that just gives me... That's weird. Alright, I need to get here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, boy! Alright, I'm gonna survive, I have no idea, but I'm gonna manage to try and find a way. Life finds a way. There we go. Okay. Alright. Moving forward. Moving forward to get out of here. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. I don't know why I landed in something wet, especially during the middle of the Wall of Flame, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, it had to be an extreme world. It had to be an extreme world where I find all of this crap. Holy hell. Okay, and here we are. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Bring news of Apollo to Nada. I could do that. Before I do the uh, observatory. In fact, I probably should. Extreme temperature detected. Yeah, no, I know. I know, I know. Here we are in space. I have no idea what the marker's about. Yeah, well. Doesn't matter much, I don't think. Maybe it'd be better if I call them over here. Maybe. 
summon the space anomaly. It's taking some time because I'm slowly moving out of the atmosphere of the planet. There we go. Cool. And we'll go ahead and talk to Nada about that. Alright, and after that, I think we end this episode. That is a big old creature. That is... Some of these are just wild ships to be looking at. Alright. Okay. Whee! Alright. Let's talk to Nada. You are becoming more visible to Nada, traveler friend. Your eyes lend themselves to our small convergence. This makes Nada happy. Nada is not happy with other events. Artemis Entity perished in the portal. Portals are infected. Vector for corruption. Apollo Entity will only spread corruption. Danger. What do you mean by that? Atlas Falsity watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may belong to Atlas Falsity. Great danger. I see. I think I see now. So he truly believes that Atlas is the enemy, but Null's telling me that that's not the case. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, either way, it is time to end the episode because this episode has gone on a long time, including the time that we'll have to, you know, cut out for the storms, which took a long while too. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments if we bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and trying my damnedest to help out the universe as much as I can considering, you know, there seems to be multiple things going on. And I'm not sure if I'm up to the task but I guess I'm not going to be given a choice now, am I? But that's an issue for another time. For you!